And on this, this second layer, the weave is going 90 degrees different than the last one. The last one, the layer was going this direction. That'll help for any warping of the, um, of like the hood after it's made. You usually want to crisscross your weave. It makes the part a little stronger. Not as worried about getting the weave exactly perfect on this one because this is going to be a middle layer, so it'll never be seen as long as it's not bunched up or doing anything crazy. As long as it's laying flat, we're okay. Evenly disperse this extra resin I got with the roller. It's very satisfying, actually. If your resin's even between your layers of carbon, then it'll sh it should lay flat. You don't really want some of your part to be more resin rich than others either, so. So now all of that wavy resin is now dispersed evenly. And we can roll on to our final layer of carbon. So I'm gonna be on the front side? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because now we're 90 degrees different. Um, come to me more. Yeah, just keep your end up and I'll do my end. Um, let a little, a little bit of slack. A little more. Cool. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <sighs> All right, so we have the final layer of carbon on. Um, I'm going to squeegee this one and, and then go back with just the brush and make sure it's got a lot of resin. It's a little resin rich on the top layer. Um, this is Xavier's hood for his car that we're repainting right now. And we're actually gonna end up painting this, but for this project, we're gonna make it look as good as possible. We're gonna leave some accents though. Yeah. I don't know how, but. We're gonna leave some carbon. And the inside will be all carbon too. So when you open the hood, you see that. It'll be humble baller status. Exactly. Humble baller. I think the most exciting part from this for me is not getting any more dents. So as I'm squeegeeing this, more tips. Um, the roller is very nice to use in the middle layers. I wouldn't use it on the first or final layer just because it, uh, it gives off a little bit of fuzz from the roller. Not much, but um, like you probably wouldn't even see it in the part. But just in case, I would only use it on the middle layers of your layup. The, I mean, you, you can, Xavier and I were talking like if you're trying to get lint off of a roller when you're painting, you can always roll it on with some duct tape or something like that, and try to get some of the little lint babies off. And they all have their, their pluses, like the squeegee will get all of the air out, make sure it's really, really tight, but, um, but it doesn't leave a lot of resin on. And the brush leaves a lot of resin on, but it doesn't get it very tight. And then the squeegee's like right in the middle, but the squeegee also is the best for getting it really even. You can get it even with a, um, no, I'm talking about the squeegee. The bra, the roller is the best for getting it even. Luckily, the kit gives you all of the tools you need. Just make sure you use them in the right application. You'll be good to go. Um, also, as you're laying it up, I don't know, you might have noticed we laid up 
Uh, we have two layers that where the weave is going this direction and two layers where the weave is going this direction. Uh, you can see the weave is like the carbon darker line kind of follows that pattern. Um, it'll be a 45 and you can even do a zero degree where you cut the part sec um, to the side, but this part's too long. We'd have to have an intersection of like two different uh, layers of carbon, which could create a problem. So for this, um, just intersecting them is more than enough. Keeps the part real stiff. Otherwise, if they're all going the same direction, it'll want to It'll want to bend in one direction more than the other. It'll be stiff this way and bend that way. 